guys and welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name's Ruby and today we're doing a walk around video on this stunning silver 2015 Holden Commodore VF SV6. Starting off at the front, you do have that very iconic VF Commodore look to it. And you do actually get six front parking sensors along the front bar there as well. So that's going to help you in parking a uh, rather long vehicle. Really nice design with the split system front grille. And then you do have these really sharp um, projector headlights as well. that will give you a very clear beam of light. Daytime running light down the bottom there as well. So you know everyone will be able to tell where you are in all conditions. Coming around to our first alloy wheel. Really nice condition on this five spoke wheel. Very minimal wear. Um, just a couple of stone chips here and there. And plenty of tread on that tyre there as well. Just next to that we do have this non-functional vent does just add a little bit of style to this front sorry to this side of the vehicle and you do have your indicator built into that as well color match side mirrors and door handles that again just ties in it and makes the whole side of the car look a bit more sleek weather shields fitted up the top so you know you can have your window down in all different conditions especially if it is drizzling a bit you're not going to get wet inside the car you do have that really nice suede and um, leather finished seats, very comfortable, um, very minimal wear on those bolsters as well. Minimal wear on that carpet too, and then on those scuff plates, virtually unmarked, alongside the door cards as well, where we do get lazy and start kicking the doors open. Closing that back up, now you will notice the front windows have been tinted a little bit, um, so something that you don't have to worry about down the track. Down to our second alloy wheel. Again, just a couple of very small superficial marks um, and plenty of tread on those uh, Bridgestone Pretender tyres as well. Fuel filler cap is on the driver's side there, so just something to take note of. And then working our way around the back, you do have another four rear parking sensors there with the reverse camera, dual chrome tip exhaust as well, and then you do have the um, Heyman Reese tow bar fitted down the bottom there. You do have the high mount brake light there as well with your wind, uh, rear windscreen washer and the wiper down the top bottom there. Opening up the back of the car, plenty of storage being a wagon with all of your um, carpet floor mats there as well. And then underneath the floor, you do have your full size matching alloy um, that looks like it hasn't been used. So that's a bonus for you. Closing that back up. Now you do have a couple of little handles as well to avoid touching your paintwork as well. Coming around the passenger side and stopping at our third alloy wheel. Again, really good condition again. A couple of minor marks here and there, but overall a very tidy wheel. Working our way down the passenger side, minimal markings again, so that's something really good to note. And then stopping onto our fourth alloy wheel. Um, this one's generally the one that you do see the most marks on. But again, that one is very tidy. A couple of minor marks, but nothing to be too worried about. So what we have is excellent paintwork all the way around. Four almost unmarked wheels and four tyres, all with excellent tread as well. What we'll do now is pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. You look under the bonnet now, you've got a six cylinder, 3.6 litre petrol engine with a six-speed automatic gearbox. On the safety side of things, you do have a five-star NCAP safety rating with six airbags throughout, so you and all of your passengers are going to be nice and safe. With this engine, you'll produce 210 kilowatts of power and 350 newton meters of torque. With this car, you do have a 71 litre capacity um, petrol tank. Running this car on 91, you will get an average of 9.3 litres per 100 kilometres and an average distance of 763 kilometres to a tank inside the SV6 now and starting on our driver's side door you've got a few different materials so the carbon fibre look leather um, the carbon fibre panel um, and then again the leather and then the piano black um, surrounds to all of your controls um, you do have your window locking so if anyone in the back is getting annoying playing with the windows you can just lock them out then you have all of your um, power mirror controls and all four are automatic up and down as well um, just above that you have all of your power mirror controls as well, so just as simple as toggling the mirror and then using the directionals. Just above from that you do have your door handle and then next to that you have your central locking as well. Just behind our steering wheel we do have all of our headlight controls, so they are automatic, so just leave it in order on the car will do all the work for you. 
Um, just behind that, sorry, next to that, you do have your brightness control for your cluster as well. On the right hand stalk, you do have your high beams um, and your indicators, and then your odometer settings as well. And then you have a little menu to flick through your um, center screen and your cluster as well. Um, on the left hand stalk, you do have your washers and wipers for the front and the rear. On the steering wheel itself, really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with the piano black running through the middle. Um, you do have all of your media controls on the right hand side, so volume, um, seeking, and then you have your Bluetooth answer and reject and your mute and your voice control. On the left hand side, you have all of your cruise control settings as well. Moving into our center screen, um, you do have a really nice touch screen display. Um, so you do have the hard buttons as well as the touch screen. So just popping it down to home, you have your AM, FM radio, um, CD, USB, um, Bluetooth and AUX connectivity as well. Just below that you have a nice carbon fibre looking trim running through again and then you have all of your climate control settings just on the nice easy dials. It's dual zone climate control and it does come up on your um, screen as well as to what your climate control is doing. Just below that you do have your um, bit of storage and a 12 volt socket and then your automatic shifter. So bring it down into drive and then across to the left puts it into the sports shift where you can shift through your gears manually. Popping it into reverse gives you a really nice display reverse camera that comes up on your centre screen and the line does move to show where you'll end up as well. Just below that you do have a bit of storage again, um, electric handbrake, traction control on and off and then your parking um, sensors on and off as well. Two cup holders as well um, with the little grommets and the chrome surround and then inside our centre console we've got a bit of storage, another 12 volt socket, a USB and an AUX input as well. One thing I will just note is there is a little bit of wear just on the back of the centre console but again nothing to be too worried about. I'll just get my camera person to pan around the inside a little bit, show you the condition um, and then we'll jump outside. Alright guys, that wraps up our walk around video on this stunning 2015 Holden Commodore VF SV6. Hope it's giving you some insight as to why this is the right car for you as well. Please give us a call on 9907 to book a test drive or even just ask any questions that you do have about the vehicle. Just a couple things before I go, this car does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan which will give you another 5 years up to 200,000 kilometres of additional coverage on 181 parts inside the car um, across the term of obviously the 5 years. Please ask us about that one and please also ask us about the glass coat to help protect your exterior paintwork as well. So even if you are looking at finance options, we can help tailor a package to suit your needs as well. Mario and Julia, our business managers, would love to meet you and have a chance to um, help you out as well. One last thing, please go check out our Google reviews sitting on 4.8 stars with over a thousand reviews from customers Australia wide. So you can be assured you're dealing with a reputable dealership, the right kind of people and buying an excellent quality car. Once again, that number is 9907 0555. My name's Ruby and thank you for watching.